Hi, this is Carsten from Thunder Speed again. Today we're showing you some drills for improving the strength that you need for speed. But speed, when we're talking about the muscles, we don't only need to train with our legs, we need our entire body. When we're running, when we're sprinting, we need not only to coordinate about 60 bones and muscles, we also have to have the strength in these muscles. So for this, we can show you some particular uh, exercises that you can do at home, that you can do in the gym, and then it will help you also to become faster. For this, we have Hakim with us. Hakim is an athletic coach here with us in, in Sweden, in Göteborg, and he will show you some drills. So the first one is more for the gluteus and it's more for the leg muscles, so for the quadricep and for the hamstring. So what Hakim is going to do is that he just uses the box and he just steps on the box and pushes up into a fully stretched position like this, lifting the knee. So we're basically imitating the first step when we're accelerating. Okay. Good, excellent. Just one more time. Yes, perfect. So you see important is that he's fully stretched in his entire body, that he's not falling down here, that the uh, pelvic is not disbalanced like this, but it's fully extended. So when he's coming up, as he did perfectly in a full stretch, because this is what you need for the acceleration. Now we can make it a little bit more difficult for you. Now you're gonna work with kettlebells. So these kettlebells, you can have different weights. This now is six kilo and six kilo. It just looks so easy because he's so strong. <laughs> okay, same drill now with the weights. Okay, good. So see, you have some extra weight on this, which makes it of course a bit more difficult in moving like this. And one more time. Perfect, good. Okay, now the load was more on the upper body. Now what I would like to do, that we put the load a little bit on the legs. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fix some weights around his ankles. So, a bit more yeah. <laughs> challenge, okay? The same drill, step and up. Yes, here we go. Do it one more time. Perfect, okay, good. So this is a thing how you can increase the load a little bit. You can do it with the ankle weights when you want to work more on the upper body, also when you have weights as in a vest. You can also do this, but important is that you still keep in this fully stretched position that you <coughs> increase the speed. So, take it like here, and now I will hold him back a little bit so he has to work against the resistance into the same step position. Okay, ready, yeah. go. Yes, okay, ready, go. Yes, perfect, and one last time. Good, okay, that's it. So these were some drills with different variations. Now Akim did it only with one leg, that is his preferred leg, when he's accelerating. You can also do it, of course, with the other side, that you also increase the strength on the other side. The next one we're showing is what we're using to come from an athletic position into a full stretch. So what Hakim is going to do now that he has the two kettlebells, he will hold them in a the position here. And from here, he will fully stretch his body. Okay, what is important that he's in this position, you see when I'm stretching my arms, the palms of my hands are exactly at the same height like my knees. So I want him to pull from this position into the full stretch. So not any lower, not any higher. I want him to put from this and then stretching forward. And not only just to pull forward first, but that it's coming as one stretched move up. Yeah. Okay, but explosive. 
from here and pam, yes. And the hip a bit more forward, but really the gluteus is work, yes. Here we go, that's it. Perfect. And one more. Good, okay. You see, it's already a bit of a challenge, but it's important that we learn this, that the muscles from here, from the calf muscles, the backside, the gluteus, the erector, that we're coming into this full stretch when we are in the acceleration. Now we're going to show you some drills where we're working with the legs and the area around the hip to stabilize a bit more. For this, we are working with the resistance band and we have different variations of the exercises now. <clears throat> so the first one Hakim will show is that he's pulling backwards with his leg. So he's against the resistance, he's working backwards like this, okay? Good. Try to have a safe stand. Yes, excellent. Here we go. And now you can feel already how the muscles are activating. Perfect. Okay, good. Like always, try that the hip is not sinking in like this, that you try to be in a stable, fully upright position, hip fully extended. Now we do the one to the side, okay? So now he has a movement where he does an adduction, okay? So from this position, he's pulling the leg to the outside, okay? Yes. That's it. Very good. Here we go. Try to turn a little bit that you're more straight. Exactly, so here we go. That's it, that you're not twisting the body, that you're that's it. Excellent. Very good. Okay, good. You see, it's already yeah. a challenge yeah. Yeah. in terms of the, the core stability to keep the, the core in the right position. But that's what we need when we change directions, when we accelerate. We want to have the best possible stability in our core. The last one of these drills, the last variation, that from a little bit of a step position like this, he's pulling the leg forward so that we're working here with the uh, hip extender that we're or the hip, hip flex hip flexor sorry that we're moving like this okay and go yes try to be in a straight position and then explosively forward pam yes pam good one more and we go excellent and you see also Hakim is excellently working with his arms so every time he's moving the right leg then of course the left arm is supporting so this is exactly what we do when we're running that the left hand goes with the right foot and the right hand goes with the left foot and this is also making us faster so these are some drills how we can improve the strength for speed more drills you find also online and if you want to have some more in-depth uh, knowledge about this then just go for our online course there we're explaining a lot more about what kind of drills you can do.